The iFootage Cobra 3 base is an awesome piece of equipment that you can either use as monopod feet or as a mini tripod for your camera to use it on a tabletop or to get really great low angle shots. Like all the other iFootage gear, it's super durable, versatile, and just really easy to use. And you'll find a ton of different ways to use it for your filmmaking and photography projects. It's just super high quality and everything just feels top notch. The ball head is probably the strongest ball head I've ever used. It has this knurled knob to loosen it and you can set it at a 90 degree angle or swivel it in any direction. And then you can crank it down really easily and make it where it's not able to move at all just with a little bit of force applied. You also have these push buttons that keep the legs locked where this little lever opens that up so that you can either fully collapse the legs or choose between three different settings on it so that you can go for a wider base or a more narrow base. Then you can either fold it up with all the legs down or you can also fold it up by putting all the legs pointing up. These have a proprietary quick release system that allows you to quickly move from going from a monopod directly to mounting your camera on the low angle tripod. The quick releases are really cool because they have both a 3 8 screw as well as you can press that down and you can access a quarter 20 beneath it. So you can directly attach a camera to this without having to use any other quick releases or ball heads and you're just ready to go. This white ring shows you that the quick release is locked in place. I will say my biggest annoyance with this is probably it's really hard to take the actual quick release off. You really need to use two hands so that you can pull down with one and it just feels really tight and then you get that off with the other. And then when you wanna go back to putting it in, there I didn't get the latch all the way undone. You need the latch to be locked down like that so it's unlocked. And then you just pop the quick release back into place. And I've noticed that you do have to use a lot of force to be able to get it both pulled down as well as to lock it in place. But once it's in, you get that white line that shows you that it's locked, it's not going anywhere. Some other things to point out, there's rubber on all the feet and it wraps all the way around. So no matter what way you set this up, you're gonna be protecting your surface from the durable metal and from scuffing it. You also get this little red button on the bottom. This is actually a monopod foot. Now I've tightened it down really strong because I actually managed to unthread one of these while I was using it in monopod mode. And I lost this for about a day. I was able to find it at the place I was shooting. But that's another big complaint is this rubber foot. You just need to make sure that you get it really tight so you know it's not gonna go anywhere if you're using this as the bottom part of your monopod with the legs all folded straight up. So you can easily adjust the height and angle of this. If we go to the tallest setting, it's not gonna be quite as sturdy as the lower base, but we can go to the tallest setting and then you just press the button on all the legs and you're able to collapse it into the lowest angle setting as well. But I have noticed that even the low setting doesn't always feel low enough, especially if you use a ball head or a fluid head on top of it. Your camera's just gonna get a lot taller off the ground. So do note that, that it's just a little bit challenging to get that fully flat shot using this. Because this was really designed to be monopod legs before it was designed to be a mini tripod. So you just have to keep that in mind. As a monopod base, it just does a great job because all the legs are super long and it has very little to no shake at all once you get it set. Another big gripe I do have with this is I don't understand why they put the ball joint on the side. So if you want to go pointing it straight down, then you're actually just going to make your camera pull down like that because there's no leg directly under it. Maybe they thought having the leg under it would just get in the way of actually shooting straight down, but it just seems like it would make more sense for it to be at least somewhat in line with one of the legs so you can get that straight down shooting. So probably my biggest complaint with the quick release is there's no grub screw on the bottom of it for tightening it to a fluid head or a ball head. So what I mean by that is if you're using this and you loosen the panning action on here, and if you don't get it loose enough, you actually unthread the screw from it. So you just have to be careful when you're using this that you don't accidentally loosen your ball head or your fluid head and completely unthread it from the bottom of the base. Once we get the actual legs mounted on it and we loosen our pan knob on this ball head, we do find that it's able to hold a better grip. But if you're not careful and you have your ball head locked all the way in place, it is possible to unthread it depending on the amount of force that you're trying to use while you're panning. Another small complaint I have about these is if you have the quick release on a camera, just note that it does protrude, so it's not as convenient to set your camera down because it's gonna be at an angle like this. But it can be really useful for if you wanna go from tripod mode and having it locked in place on the tripod to quickly removing it and being able to shoot handheld for a time and then locking it back in place on the tripod. So the quick release does work very well, but just know you're not gonna be able to set your camera alone down on a surface 
without it being on its side. It's not gonna sit flat. But you're probably gonna wanna use this anyways because it just holds your camera so well and it looks so nice having the camera mounted on the mini tripod. Another thing I do notice about the Cobra 3 base is it's not always the perfect height for if you wanna film yourself. Now technically you can fold the legs up like this and get it into the tallest setting and then you can also use a quick release head, a fluid head, a ball head, and that'll add a little bit more height. But ideally you would want the camera to be at eye level and it always comes just a little shy of that. So you're always having to tilt it up just a little bit to get a good shot of yourself talking. Like if I were to put it at the front of my desktop right here and wanna to talk to the camera, I'll be looking down at it instead of looking on a more even level like I am with my camera that's backed up a little bit. It's up about a foot higher. So sometimes it feels like it's too tall to be a good short tripod or too short to be a good tall tripod. So you do have to be careful with that, but you can be creative and find different places to set it, different ways to position yourself, and still be able to frame yourself up nicely. I've also been testing these with the iFootage Komodo M30 and Komodo K5S, and the fluid head and the ball head both work really nicely on this just to be able to use a quick release system besides the native iFootage one. To me, the iFootage quick release system is best used when you're using a Cobra 3 monopod because it allows you to go from monopod to shooting really low, really fast. But otherwise, I find I just like to use the Manfrotto or Arca plates because they're just a little bit easier for me to go from using a tripod to my Ronin or a mini tripod or a monopod all back and forth without having to change the quick releases. If you compare the Cobra 3 base with the ball head to the Cobra 3 base that uses the pedal, you'll notice that they're pretty much the same height but with the Cobra 3 ball head base, you can tilt it all the way to a 90 degree angle even though that gives you the risk of tipping it over and you just can lock it in at any position. But with the Cobra 3 pedal base ball head, once you release the brake, you actually can't lock it into place at any angle except for straight up. It just won't lock back into place without having it fully straight. The Cobra 3 pedal does have a fluid action that's built into it too though. So you can push the brake down and then you can add or remove tension from it. So even without using a ball head on it, you can still get some really smooth panning shots using it, but you're not gonna be able to lock it in at any angle. It's always gonna be free to spin without having it pointing straight up and then reapplying the brake. So I really only recommend getting the Cobra 3 pedal base if you actually wanna use this with the monopod. Otherwise, you're probably gonna prefer the Cobra 3 standard base with the knob on the side that locks it into place. You could get the Cobra 3 pedal base if you're gonna use a ball head on the top or a pan head on the top, cause then you can just use that to lock your angle in place instead of having to deal with the pedal. So aside from the issue of the notch being in a weird spot that causes this to tip, as well as just how hard it is to actually pull the quick release off one-handed, and the strange heights that you can sometimes deal with when using this. It's a really great piece of equipment that's versatile and you'll find a ton of use for. I think they really overbuilt this and it's a great monopod base and it's also a really useful mini tripod base. It's great for use with a small camera or I've even seen a lot of people who are putting C200s and FX6s and other medium size rigs on it and having no issues supporting it at all because this has such a high weight capacity on it. I've actually found that to open the legs, you do have to use a decent amount of force too. So you can rest assured knowing that these are not gonna collapse on you. They're not going anywhere. They lock into place and they're super sturdy. If you're interested in buying the iFootage Cobra 3 base, I have links in the description below for this as well as all the ball heads, fluid heads, and other gear that I really like to use with the Cobra 3 base. 